everyone, this is Selena Krauss and welcome to another LDRS creative card video. In this video I will show you a uh, easy stenciling technique uh, using the sunflower stencil, the wave ribbon banner stack dies and the harvest uh, sentiments that coordinate with the wave ribbon stack dies. So there are a bunch of fall related uh, fall inspired sentiments that we're going to use on this card. So let's get started. I have pre-prepared uh, my stencil. I've sprayed it with stencil spray. Um, it's repositionable spray, so it stays nice and secure onto my cardstock. I'm using a piece of four and a half, a four and a quarter by five and a half uh, white cardstock. I'm just adding little post-it uh, tape here on the top and the bottom, so it doesn't move. And I'll be using three uh, ink colors. Olive branch, the hybrid inks, uh, coffee bean, and dandelion, um, which is yellow color. So I'm starting with the coffee bean, and I'm using ink dabber. You can use any smaller uh, inking tool, either ink dabber or a small blending brush. I didn't have smaller uh, blending brushes, so I decided to go uh, with uh, the ink dabbers. So the easy stenciling here is that I'm not masking anything. We're going to do a multi-color uh, stencil and just select ink ink using that uh, ink dabber. And even if we have a little bit ink over the lines, since those are sunflowers, we're going to use that to blend in with the yellow or with the green. And uh, it will look kind of nice. So I'm starting, I'm applying more ink. I'm just masking here just a little bit. Uh, I'm applying more ink toward the center of the sunflowers. I'm pressing uh, more on the center and then spreading it around to um, the edges of that, not the edges, but the outside of the circles, the flower centers. So I'm going to speed up here a little bit and I'm inking all the centers. I'm going again to make sure that I have enough ink and that uh, I'm at the intensity of color that I want. Next, I'm going with the dandelion. I'm just adding ink on the flower petals. I'm starting from the center and then going to the end of the flower petals. Again, I'm applying more ink around the center because I want that spot to be uh, darker. I'm just moving around and um, applying to few and then I'm going with the green with the olive branch to apply to the leaf, the one that's on the bottom. For the other leaves, I'll first uh, ink the flower petals and then I'll move to the leaves. Here, just remove some of the ink from the stencil so I can go with the yellow without spreading that green on the stencil. So I'm working around the stencil here I started from the bottom, now I'm going to the side and with and just adding some more of that yellow, making sure that all of the petals are covered. So we're almost done here with the yellow and now we're going with the olive branch hybrid ink. I'm just adding, repeating the same with the uh, green. Also, if I have a little bit green onto the yellow, I'm just going back with that sponge dabber that has yellow and blending it in. So we're almost done here. I'm just going to add a little bit more to the flower centers to make them even more darker, darker brown. So now let's remove the stencil and voila! Here is our stenciled uh, background. So by magic of YouTube, I cut it down to four by five and a quarter. And next we're gonna uh, add the sentiment. I have some black cardstock and I've uh, pre-stamped and embossed all the sentiments. I stamped it once on black cardstock with the embossing ink and embossed in white embossing powder. And just with one pass in the die cutting machine, I had all these strips. So I just picked out uh, three strips and I'm just, um, I have two of the shorter sentiments, one of the longer. So I decided to put the shorter on top and bottom and longer in the middle. I'm adding some uh, foam tape on the back 
and positioning the third sentiment. I'm repeating the same process for the second, making sure they're centered and they're equal distance from one another. To secure that and now uh, we're finishing off the card i have here a black cardstock that measures four and a quarter by 11 and i squared it at five and a half and i'm folding it in half to create that top folding note card just burnishing that edge with my bone folder and next to add some dimension i'm using some uh, craft foam i'm adding it on the back of uh, the stenciled background next i'm adding some liquid adhesive First, I used uh, adhesive tape, like roller, because I didn't want to add liquid adhesive as the cardstock is 80 pound cardstock, so I didn't want any marks on the front. Just we're gonna press it down to make sure that's nice and secure and straight. And we are finished with the card here. So here's a little closer uh, look at it. Thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the LDRS Creative uh, YouTube channel. As well, please visit the blog for more ideas and more inspiration. I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye!